Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam Happy and welcome back my Happy Family Happy Friends. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. That way you, my Happy Family Happy Friends, can be notified every single time this guy makes a video. So, today we are starting off where we left off. The last time we are in the Dulgar Oasis. Um, we are about to find Zoltan Ghoul's head and two vials of his, of his blood. Sorry, couldn't speak there. Um, so, on the screen, you might notice there's different weapons. So, this weapon, you may know if you played the game, is actually uh, the Angel Tyrael's sword. Um, this is a drop that you get somewhere, I forget where you get it, but like, it's got a cool atmosphere around it. Um, I'll show you the damage. Damage is 2,000, well, 1,209.8 damage. It's a legendary sword, and you guys can read the rest of it. It's all on the screen. Um, it does have a socket. It's got a purple gem in it. And I believe that's the one that gives you life per hit. Um, and I have many other legendary weapons, as you can tell. Um, but that's not what we're talking about today or showing. So, the Forgotten Ruins. That's where you're going to want to go for Sultan Kuro's head. And you're going to have to battle a lot of things. What I'm showing you today. That it's just content, so. Dark magic fills this place like a foul mist. Thought that was an enemy. It also summons an angel. That's what that thing is following us. It's pretty cool weapon. It does get annoying though. So if you're annoyed easily by weapons that summon things, I would uh, suggest not equipping this in your arsenal. I see riches ahead. We already picked it up. Sometimes the commentary is, like, delayed in this game. Where is... where... hang on. Oh, okay. I missed it completely. I'm sorry, guys. It's pulling a blank as to where I was going. Do you see that enemy over there? Let us cleanse it from this land. I don't have enough awesome power. That is what I have trained for. So, again, there are drops. The only thing I'm going to do is tell them the secrets. I don't know what they're used for. So good, I astound myself. So, the darkened parts are where you have any. The darkened parts are where you haven't ventured yet. So I would go there. And it does give you light around your character that way you can see what you're fighting. Okay, so that was a 
uh, a guy that has a bag that uh, will have a lot of loot like this. Um, if you're new, I would pick this up. I'm not, so I'm not going to. But normally, if you're a new character, you should. Just doing gaming videos if you're new um, into the YouTube community because um, it's very hard to like pick which one to look at, which screen. Because I got the monitor and I'm looking at that to see if I'm getting stuff, and then I'm looking at the TV, so it's very confusing. So I would steer away from gaming videos as much as possible if you're new. Um, Let's keep going. You guys are probably like, keep going. It's boring watching this game. Also a dead end. Sorry. There's a lot of dead ends. And headphone users, um, I turned down the volume. Just oh, I thought that this was a really huge, a really huge demon. like that. I'm playing it on PlayStation, so it's a very old system. So if it lags, I'm sorry. Away with you. that up because it's not worth it. I only pick up gems and legendary stuff if you haven't noticed. And then you just click this stone and it'll ask you to just accept. 
it'll teleport you outside of the portal. Um, so in the forgotten, what is that? The forgotten rooms. Um, and then I think that's where I'm gonna end it because it was a pretty long video. So I mean, thank you so much for watching this, guys. Uh, really is appreciated. Um. Please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. That way you and my half family have friends get notified every single time this guy makes video. And I will see you the next time I play Diablo, okay? Bye!